So here's a, uh, a, uh, another figure from uh, a paper that uh, John and I published uh, this year. Animal protein contains methionine. It's a precursor of cysteine. And what we've got here on the bottom here is the amount of urea nitrogen. That's a marker of protein ingestion. The more protein you eat, the more nitrogen you have to excrete. And that's excreted in a mo as a, a molecule called urea. And the more urea nitrogen in the urine, the more protein you ate. And on the y-axis, you can see there's more cysteine in the urine. So lower amounts of animal protein will be associated with less cysteine in the urine. The number that we're talking about is something like 6.6 .6 grams of protein for per kilogram of body weight. So a person who weighs 150 pounds weighs about 70 kilos. Uh, and that means 70 times 0.6, you take 42 grams of protein, which is about six ounces of meat or chicken or fish or eggs, egg white, uh, per day. So it, it's, that's, it's not zero. The less you eat, the better. If you want to become a vegan, a vegetarian, um, even better. But th this is a, a moderate protein restriction. And this is what the rest of the world eats. You know, in the United States, this is a low protein diet. But for the rest of the world, uh, it's, it's pretty much a normal protein intake. So reducing animal protein, just to repeat that, reduce acid excretion and the amount of citrate needed to increase urinary pH as well. Cases reported are few. Time periods are short. Stone prevention not reported. I'm talking there about the evidence that protein restriction actually works is quite limited. There's only a little bit of data. There's no randomized control trial where people with cystinuria were put on a low protein diet versus people eating a higher protein diet, and it was shown to be effective. But all of the data suggests that this would be very important. But if you ask me for the literature to prove it, I would agree that it's, it's, not, it's not present at the moment.